So today we're going to review a personal extended viewer unit called the Guvis Art. This is the world's first portable HD head mounted display unit with a hanging design. It's like having a panoramic screen right in front of you. It is 110 gram lightweight which means it is designed for long term wear without feeling heaviness. This provides ultra wide real view with 1080p 60Hz OLED micro display which means no more being confined by full cover headset. It allows you to see your surroundings without removing your glasses. This is compatible with multiple media devices including handheld gaming consoles console, mobile phones, laptops, tablets, drones, DSLR cameras, which I will share a few examples in this review. So Groove has kindly provided me with a Net TV dongle as well and the power bank base unit indeed. So I'm really excited to do the unboxing and testing this unit. So enough said, let's get on with it, shall we? So here it goes. Take out the cover. Guvis, in a moment of truth. Wow, look at that. Very compact compared to the size of my hand. I've got cloth to actually clean up any display lenses. USB-C to USB-C, good quality cable. This is an actual pouch. That's quite cool. And lastly, we got the quick guide booklet. So for the actual headset unit itself, we got the breathing light here and also for the adjustment of the pupil locking switch. So once you're happy, you just need to lock it. And that's all good to go. Volume up and down, brightness adjustment, swapping between 2D to 3D button here. This is the USB-C extension port along with the USB display extension port and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This is a diopter adjustment on the left and on the right hand side as well. We got the actual speaker. So if you haven't got the headphones, then you can actually listen to the sound through here. This is a magnetic joint headband uh, headset unit and the actual band itself is flat. So it allows you to lie down on your bed or on your couch to the actual display itself. That's how it actually looks like. And we've got a sensor here as well. So let's say if you don't want to watch for a certain period, you lift it up and the sensor will be able to detect it and turn off the screen to save battery and so on. All right, so finally I got the Govis Art on my head, which the head mounted display unit is tilted up. You can see that it kind of looks like PlayStation 2 controller, doesn't it? So if I were to lower it down to see the vision now, you would have noticed I'm wearing the blue light protected lenses and it's kind of, the display unit is kind of touching it, but it's not forcing it in. Uh, just want to warn you, probably it's the size of my head is too big. I'm not sure, but that's still fine really actually. And the vision I'm getting is that this dark cinema, I'm actually alone sitting on this VIP seat and it's covering the central sort of below a bit of my vision so I could still look in front of you. I can see the camera. So if someone would have uh, talked to me right in the middle of the vision, I could actually look at them and talk and go back to my vision and so on. So I'll definitely not recommend this for driving actually because you won't be able to see the speed and also all the gear changing and display of the actual car itself or either I would actually recommend for you to walk around with this because people are going to think you're bit weird unique if you see what I mean but perfect way of working environment kind of vision right so I initially tried to plug into my Z flip 4 it didn't work for some reason I think it's because of the software and the reason I'm telling you that is because when I plugged into my Z fold 3 it immediately worked and it actually directed me the display itself is showing the Dex view the computer version of the display but the actual uh, the mobile phone itself is showing the mobile phone version of it. But if I were to scroll down and then come out of the decks, all of a sudden I can see the actual mobile phone display on the portrait mode. But if I were to rotate it, it would actually turn into the landscape mode as well. So what I'm going to do is actually watch one of my videos that I uploaded recently, which is for the Ultra Human Ring Air for copyright reason. So that's really nice. Look at that. That is a nice cinematic view. So a company called Ultra Human kind of sent me their latest model. And that's the speaker quality from the forehead speaker. Very common 
situations that we are already aware of but it turns out this is packed with so many new it's a very nice crisp display i can't see any pixelated at all and um yeah that's really good i like that right so i'm seeing one of the 3d video clip example from youtube and to the contrast to what you can see from the mobile phone i can actually see a 3d effect there yes all these colorful dots seem to have this sort of 3d and also the swivel in the middle with the 3d text as well seem to be more in like a 3d effect as well so this is clearly working after pressing the actual 3d button if i were to press again it comes out of the way how it's shown on the mobile phone here but if i were to press it again it will all of a sudden be in one screen with the 3d sort of effects so that clearly proves that the 3d visual works so what i noticed immediately is that if you were to plug in your govis art directly to your mobile phone it will quickly drain the battery life so what you can do is use the power bank itself so you plug in the mobile phone into the video in which will charge the actual mobile phone and on the video out you'll be plugging in the actual govis art usb-c cable and it's all good to go for long lasting use now plugged in the govis art to steam deck we actually charge here and it works straight away but please make sure you use the power bank because we all know that steam deck actually battery runs out within a couple of hours if you use it heavily now the actual display itself is really amazing it's like you're actually staring at a large screen and the good thing about this is that you can actually relax sit on your chair so this is actually ergonomically very friendly indeed and you can still see some of the bits surrounding you as well while you play your games so the actual um, clarity of the screen is really impressive i can't see any pixelated even the blurred effect on the background itself is pretty good as well for the soul calibur game that i'm actually playing at the moment so well done for that now i just plugged into my laptop on the thunderbolt port and it works straight away without any questions and the way how i actually rearrange my display for govis art is that i actually angled it up so that the uh, govis art display will be on the top like a extension of a monitor sort of view on the top here and then the main display and the smaller display of the laptop will be the middle and the bottom side of it so this is a perfect sort of working environment setting for portable office because it's again uh, good for ergonomics so i just need to keep my head up like this angle this way rather than doing this all the time and then i could extend some of the main cad works or any of the working things that i focus on the govis art display while as web browsing or email sort of thing could be in the middle or and perhaps it's like crypto updates or any other sort of news could be on the bottom of the screen as well so this is really good indeed i'm really happy with this now regards to the net tv dongle that looks exactly the same as the power bank unit itself you'll be able to watch netflix and youtube and other streaming context and so on but unfortunately i haven't got the actual plug-in dongle unit that converts from hdmi to usb-c at the moment but i'm sure you can check out from other youtubers to see how cool this device is now i had so much fun playing around with govist art to see what sort of device it can work on straight away i'm really pleased with the fact that it works on the c fold uh, series that has a dex integration on it this is very good for ergonomic upgrade for using steam deck and also it could be used as an additional large monitor on top of the laptop that you have so this will certainly upgrade your working environment as well the portable working environment that is now two things if i were to pick out for the uh, negative side of it is the magnetic joint uh there's this sweat patch now there's a velcro on it actually that's good news actually i didn't know that but i did actually sweat a bit so it's a bit wet here so i have to wash this i wish there was a spare sort of uh, sweat patch 
so that once I actually use this one, dry it and wash it, I could use the other one at the same time. That would be quite nice. And the other one is it actually messed my hair. You would have noticed early on when I actually tried on, my hair was all over the place and so on. Certainly, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it in a working environment, especially when I'm in a different place when I need an extra sort of monitor or when I want to play um, like Steam Deck and so on. So I hope this video sort of explained how cool this Govis art is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.